Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Learning CAD Sketcher for Beginners. So in our previous lesson we looked at exporting our finished model and getting it into an STL format ready to 3D print or using a external program. In this episode we're looking at an ability that all CAD programs give and that's referencing external geometry. So let's have a look and see how we would do this. So we're in Blender, we're going to be using CAD Sketcher and we're going to understand how reference constraints work in there. So this is when we're referencing another sketch or another part of the geometry to create features and operations in our new sketch. Remember, we're looking at a piece of software that's still in development. So it won't be as mature as the CAD packages that have many years in front of them. I'm going to be comparing it to FreeCAD and the process in the part design. If we create the process and the part design in FreeCAD, we create a body and create a new sketch. And I'm going to go along the XY plane and create something very simple in here using the rectangle, like so. And we're going to put some constraints across here to make it symmetrical using the symmetry constraint and also setting some distance in here using the distance constraint. And we'll go for 10 mil and the height of 20 millimeters. And we can zoom in. So we've got this shape here. And close that. We've got the geometry. We can use the pad and pad this, say, to two millimeters. So we've got this shape. Processing CAD Sketcher is basically the same. So just delete that cube and we come up to the Sketcher from the fly out bar, Sketcher, Add Sketch, and we pick the XY plane. So upon that plane there, and we're sketching upon this plane. So I'm going to put a rectangle in here, right click to cancel the tool and we'll come over to the tools and add some constraints in here. So I've got nothing selected at the moment. We've got the vertical and horizontal constraints of the rectangle already added and we need some distance constraints on the top here. And we'll set this by clicking on it. Click once, click the distance and type in 10 millimeters. We do the same for the side, so we can pull this constraint up and out of the way. So we select the side, click distance, and we'll set this one. Click on it, left click, click on the value, and set this to 20 millimeters. And we'll zoom out. So we've got this one here. What we need to do now is set this. Now if we look, we've got convert type, we've got to set this to mesh. We mesh modeling that makes sense and leave the sketch. We now get this face, this mesh face. So we need to extrude this. And in Blender and extrude, we add a modifier for solidify. This is going to tell us what distance is going to go and the direction. So the thickness, we set that to two millimeters. I think it might have been three or two millimeters before. So we've got that there. And the offset tells it to go downwards. And we can move that to one so it goes upwards. So this gives us an idea. If I place it like this, we can see those axes there. And we've got two millimeters. The offset, as you can see, as we move this down, it places it in the positive or the negative. We want it in the positive. So we've got our base object. Let's jump over to FreeCAD and see what we do next. I want to create an operation on this face and attach it to there using a sketch. So I'm going to sketch in that operation. So FreeCAD allows us to reference external geometry using the external geometry tool here. So we click on that and take this edge here. And also I'll take this edge. With those two edges, I can use the rectangle and hover over that edge and connect up a rectangle to it with point on line constraint and the same with this one. Point on line constraint there. 
So those are connected. You can see how they're connected there, which means if I right click to cancel the tool, I can move these along that line. I can disconnect these at any time I want. And we'll make that symmetry to this axis, again, using the symmetry constraint and set some distance along this edge using the distance of three millimeters and hit OK. So we've got that in there. If I hit close, you can see that sitting on there. And we select that sketch and use the pad and set this one, let's say five mil and OK. This object can be created quite easily by creating a sketch along this T and doing it that way. But obviously there's a number of ways to create objects in CAD and in Blender in hard surface modeling. Let's go back to Blender. Now initial faults, because we can select a plane face and add a working plane to it, add work plane on mesh, go that face, right click to add and add a sketch upon there. And we'll bring this around, let's find that face. So it's gonna be this one. Then you notice that straight away, we can't actually reference those edges. There's no tool to reference that in. Let's leave the sketch and delete that sketch. What we can do is we can show the sketch, this one here, and we can actually reference this geometry inside another sketch. There is limitations to this at this time. Remember, this is still in development, but limitations mean that we can't use a working plane or add work plane to mesh plane to add the sketch on because that won't work. If I tried that, come in, add work plane to mesh, we're going to get the exactly the same thing. Click and right click, add sketch to that one. I can't pull in that sketch edge. I have to leave the sketch and delete that sketch. So I have to think outside the box. The sketch is sitting on this plane here that goes along this way. If I add a sketch, not using the working planes, but using the base working planes or the base planes, then I can add a sketch to here and pull in that geometry. So you can see if the sketch is upon the same plane and uses the base planes, not the working planes, then we can add and constrain it to basically the bottom of this. So we may have to do things in a bit of a reverse, but it's a way around this. Otherwise we're constrained to geometry where we have to add those data and constraints in their distance and make midpoints, etc. Rather than the flexibility that's provided by something like FreeCAD. In the future, this may change. As said, it's in development. So we add a rectangle. If I hover over that line, you can see we can actually attach by clicking the rectangle to that line and clicking on this side. So we have that in and that zoom in and we'll create constraints against this. So right click to cancel the tool. So we get the mouse pointer back and our solver select tool back. And I want to take that edge and as you can see, well, we can't really see that edge on there. If I come down to entities, the number of entities on here, which are all the points and the lines, which are the lines in that sketch. So we can see all those there. We can't actually see the other sketch. So we have to come up and leave this sketch and hide the original so we can see that now. I can then select that to make a distance with. Let's come back into that sketch and set a distance with this one using a distance. And we'll set that to three mil and hit enter. Though I've added the three millimeter distance and I had to come out the sketch, what well, could have done? Another way of doing this, that's just come in and delete that constraint. Click once and deleted it. If 
we can, we can see the bottom sketch and we edit and we can't get to that line at all. I can get to these points. I can select both those points. Select one, shift select the other and use a distance constraint. Like so, and set the distance constraint of what I want. Convert height to mesh and leave the sketch. So now we've got this sketch on the bottom face here. The sketch 001 has appeared in the list on the right hand side here. If I select it, add modifier, solidify, set the thickness to something like three millimeters. Look at the offset going in the right direction, minus one going downwards and we're all done. So we've built this in a slightly different way. We almost build it upside down. When we flip it over, we can see that we use those constraints in there and pulled them in and we just hide that previous sketch. So we've got the same model. We just had to go about it a different way. So I hope that video has helped. As said, this is in beta. This may change in the future. Hope you enjoyed that video and I hope to see you in the next one. If you're enjoying these videos and you would like to support the channel, then you can do so via my Ko-Fi page. That's at ko-fi.com forward slash MJ3D Studio. Any donations will be used to help to span the channel. I'd like to thank you all for watching and I hope to see you again soon.